Hello and what's up YouTube? This is the enclosure I made for the powder coating main board that I showed you in the two previous videos. Links in the description if you have not seen them yet. This is just an electrical junction box made of plastic so it is easy to work with especially in making these holes. I'll show you the outside of the box first then later I will open it so you can see inside. So these are the two displays that show the indication of the KV and microampere. They are nothing more than these cheap DC voltmeters from China that you can buy online. I also have these two potentiometers and a knob on up switch in the front panel. At the back, I installed this ordinary power plug connector. These bolts and nuts are the earth ground connection. I also bought and installed this 3 pin terminal for the cable that goes to the gun. At the side, I have this female DC jack connector that is for the external air regulators 12 volt solenoid valves. I will now open it and let's have a look inside. So this is the powder coating machine main board. I bought it cheap as a defective unit that I then successfully repaired and showed you all the circuit in the previous videos. I just have to buy these PCB connectors for the power supply wirings and this connector for the external wiring to the potentiometers. The voltmeters are wired to this connector that is responsible for the KV and microampere display. The only modification I did to this board is removing the bridge rectifier diode because it is no longer needed. Originally, this board gets the power from an 18 volts step-down transformer. But now, I use this switching mode power supply instead. This is a 24 volts switching mode power supply I got for free from the recycle bin. I got these cheap DC to DC converters and there are two of them. You can see that the input of the two DC to DC converter modules are simply wired in parallel and connected to the output of the 24 volts power supply. One of the DC to DC converter module is set to 18 volts and that supply the power to the powder coating gun main board. The other DC to DC converter is adjusted to 12 volts. The 12 volts negative supply is directly wired to the DC jack connector at the side and the 12 volts positive line is wired to the relay at the main board. That controls the 12 volts solenoid valves on the air regulators. This is just a simple switch that turn on and off the AC power from the wall outlets going to the switching mode power supply. The back plate on the box is an aluminum panel and this metal case and the heat sink of the PCB board are all bolted to this aluminum plate and that helps with heat dissipation. All the metal parts are also connected to the earth ground and by the center prong of the AC wall outlet. And also to the ground post terminal at the back as you seen earlier. Lastly, this is the connector I bought for the gun cable. This is what it looks like. 
It has three pins on the matching male and female connectors. I turn on the unit with this AC power switch and you will see the two display lights up. The green voltmeter shows the microampere indication and the red voltmeter shows the actual output of the variable voltage power supply, which indicates the KV of the gun. Looking at the schematic, the red voltmeter is simply connected to this terminal. What I did was to turn this trimmer resistor W5 all the way down to 0 ohms. So it is in effect directly connecting the voltmeter to the adjustable voltage output. And that is directly related to the KV output of the gun. For the following test, I will set that voltage to about 10 volts. Now the microampere indication, as you may have seen from the previous videos, is just the output of this non-inverting op amp. And that will display a voltage in the range of about 0 0.35 volts to about 3 volts. So the cable that goes to the powder coating gun has these three wires one of which is this ground wire. The ground wire goes to a switch on the gun trigger. And that switch cut off the signal to the high voltage cascade, which is connected to the primary winding of this step up transformer. This red wire is connected to terminal seven on the PCB, which is the output of the oscillator. The ground wire is on terminal six, that, as mentioned earlier, is in series with the trigger switch. The third wire, this blue wire, is the microampere feedback connected to the secondary wire and to terminal 5 on the PCB. This is a voltage multiplier circuit I made for testing purposes. This green wire is connected to the earth ground. I place it somewhere near the high voltage electrode output and varying the distance from the tip of the electrode relative to the ground changes the current or microampere and the power supply will adjust the output voltage to maintain a constant current. Since excessive charge is undesirable in powder coating, so the power supply will try to maintain a constant current output. Let's see what happened when I turn on the switch. Okay, so we can hear that the, that the solenoids are working because I, I already connect the 12 volt supply powering the two 12 volts solenoid valve on my manifold. So as you can see, I have the power supply separate from the uh, air regulator manifold. Let's try that once again. When I turn, turn on the switch, you can hear that the solenoid valves are working. I will try to turn on the trigger switch again and we should hear the solenoid valves working and see some sparks on the electrode. Now let's turn our attention to the voltage and microampere display indicators. If I lower the microampere setting, we shall see the voltage going down. So I turned this potentiometer setting to a lower output current and as you can see, the voltage drops. You see. I will now turn the microampere to the lowest setting and let's see how low the voltage goes down. So it is as low as about 6 volts.
And when I turn the microampere back up to a higher setting, the voltage does not drop. There you go. So in summary, the powder coating gun circuit is a constant voltage, constant current power supply to the high voltage cascade. For the next video, I made a really quick and simple powder coating gun to demonstrate this system with actual powder. That will be a really interesting video, so please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and like my videos. Share to your friends and God bless you all.